How long was it since you last wore some of your clothes? Fashion experts say that many people don't even know what they have in their wardrobe. Did you know that one truck full of clothes gets landfilled every second? In 2018, the EU exported approximately 119 billion euro worth of clothes, which is close to a 35% increase since 2013. This increase in export means the demand for clothes is high. But if the demand is high, why are we landfilling one truck full of clothes every second? Welcome to the channel of the Green Economy, where we talk about different practices that lead to a green, eco-friendly and sustainable future. In this video, we will be looking into a circular fashion, the challenges and how the future of circular fashion can look like. The Circular Fashion Around the world, people buy about 56 million tons of clothes every year, and this is expected to increase to 93 million tons by 2030. The rise in supply means there is a high demand from the customer. As the demand increases, the companies continue mass production of the clothes and sell them at lower price. And low price means not necessarily high quality, which directly leads to fast fashion. The idea of fast fashion means people are buying clothes at a lower price and wearing them once or twice because of quality degradation or just because they are out of fashion. Once the clothes are sold at an attractive lower price, people are encouraged to buy even more and at some point, they have to be dumped into landfill sites. While most clothes will last years given proper care, change of fashion encourages customers to buy new clothes without even needing them. Just by chucking clothes into the bin, we are contributing to an estimated release of 1.2 billion tons of greenhouse gases and responsible for 20% of global wastewater every year. So what can we do? We can apply the principles of circular fashion. And how do we do that? We can do that by stopping fast fashion and promoting sustainable materials for clothing that stays in a value chain for a long time. What we can also do is to promote eco-leveling on the clothes that enables transparency between the manufacturer and the customers. And of course, introducing the concept of circular economy into the process is encouraged so that we can eliminate the waste completely in the first place. Another thing we can do is to avoid dyeing fabrics where possible to reduce water consumption. Understanding what material we are using is very vital, and based on that, we can think about whether the clothes can be recycled or reused. Remember the definition of reuse and recycle from our previous videos? Reuse refers to using waste materials in the same system without further treatment, whereas recycle looks into other options where the waste can be used as a raw material in a different system to make completely different products. The challenges of making fashion circular Why are clothes so hard to recycle? It all comes down to the use of material, which is the biggest challenge. The problem we have is we blend many different fibers to use the best quality of each one in terms of gaining, desired properties and price. This is to combine different preferable properties that single material fails to provide. Different fibers are produced from different resources and consequently have different environmental impact. So, to make the fashion circular, the first thing to look at is the use of raw material. Cotton is the most commonly used natural fiber we have in the fashion industry. Being the purest of the cellulose, although this material tends to wrinkle, it is extremely comfortable and soft, making it desirable to wear. Another raw material that is very popular is polyester, a hydrophobic synthetic polymer which melts when heated and becomes solid again when cooled down. This polymer is typically popular for being strong, durable, and stretchable materials as they are easy to wash and resistant to chemicals. So why is blending different fibers a problem? The more materials we have, the more difficult will it be to sort it out and to recycle. Different materials that possess different properties also expect us to treat them differently. Imagine having to sort them out with a time-consuming, expensive machine that requires a huge amount of energy. And even then, there is no guarantee that the recycled materials are going to give us the same high quality we require. To be able to efficiently make the fashion circular, we require a sophisticated machine that can sort out the materials based on their properties with less energy. One really good start would be 50% recycled materials and 50% virgin material. Or the simplest or best way would be to make the clothes from only one material. But are the consumers happy to accept this and compromise on the properties of the clothes they are wearing? This brings me to my final point, the future of the circular fashion industry. 
the world has slowly understood the bigger impact of greenhouse gas emission and the importance of including the circular economy in their system to make the global value chain sustainable and environmentally friendly. The question always strikes is where do we start? The fashion industry uses lots of chemicals, man-made materials, which goes up as the demand increases. The current system of fashion has more than 97% of virgin materials. By reusing and recycling of the material, we can extend the life of the materials, eliminate waste, and use less energy than the virgin raw material and eventually reduce the CO2 emission. Another thing to be done is to look into some of the biodegradable and long-lasting fibers that are free of chemicals to avoid energy-consuming processes such as spinning yarns and weaving. Reducing waste and switching to renewable energy and biodegradable materials are some of the popular options for the fashion industry. We can also think about making the blockchain of the value chain so that everything is traceable. For example, which material was used, where and how the material and clothes were produced, who was involved and where it is going after being used and how much contribution it will make to the CO2 emission. If everything is transparent, a responsible citizen can make a choice of his action that works towards a circular fashion. To make the fashion circular, we have to start at the beginning of the value chain and design the whole system with sustainable and eco-friendly materials. It is challenging but doable. That's all in today's video. See you in the next one. Thank you for staying with us.